Y'all ready for this? Scientists confirm the incredible existence of time reflections. Not only does this have implications for legitimate time travel, but it has to do with something called backwards time and the fourth state of matter, plasma. Let me tell you more because it's very cool. So the legend of backwards time started by a man named William James Sidis. He had an IQ of supposedly of like 300 and he wrote a book called the, in the Animate and the Inanimate. It was about the origin of life and thermodynamics. He predicted that there were regions of space where the second law of thermodynamics operated in reverse temporal direction. This is literally, by the way, the article's about, which I'll tell you. He said the universe has sections of negative tendencies. Laws of physics are reversed. Just read the book. I don't want to get too sciencey here. But in this article, it says, if you look in a time error, you'll see your back instead of your face. What does that mean? I know I asked the same thing. And what does it have to do with plasma and time travel? So much. Okay, so there's spatial reflections where EM radiation in the form of light or sound wave hit a mirror and they change course. This is how we see a reflection or an echo. But there's another kind of reflection in quantum mechanics known as time reflection. This occurs when the entire medium, remember that word, which an EM wave travels suddenly changes course. The entire medium, a portion of the wave will reverse and the frequency transforms into another one. So scientists originally thought that this would take too much energy to happen. Well, that we could actually observe time reflections and action would take too much energy. But these scientists successfully observed time reflections proving they're real by sending broadband, broad, broadband signals into a strip of metal filled with electronic switches that were connected to reservoir capacitators, whatever. Time reflection is different where if you were to look in this mirror, you would see your back instead of your face. If you saw this with your eyes, it would look like colors of light suddenly changing to another color, such as red switching to green. Okay, so here's where it gets interesting and is about plasma and time travel. So I'm writing a book, the link is in my bio, it comes out in a few months, about plasma, the fourth state of matter, and how it is not just an ionized gas, it is the most ancient force in the universe, it makes up 99.9% .9 of everything, and it can transform from your consciousness. It's a medium, an interstellar medium, and an expanded version of plasma, as above, so below, the world of thought and emotion is also made up of a finer plasma, Is that's my theory, a living ether that can be moved and molded and changed by our consciousness and our emotions. So this medium has to do with time travel and loops into the article with what I'm about to say. So back to backwards time. Time reflections could be a mechanism for backwards time communication. The plasma I'm speaking of interacts with backwards time. This could enable our consciousness to access multidimensional states, meaning it could help with intuition. It could help us see different probabilities of our future. We could literally almost like cast out a net and pull it towards us in reality and see where our current choices would lead us in the future. It also directly supports the idea that waves can be manipulated to reverse in time under the right conditions. This would mean consciousness using plasma, this living ether, might be able to tap into past or future states, explaining precognition, retrocausality, memory, or imprints in the plasma fields. So basically my whole book is about how you can use your consciousness to work with this backwards time, which is what I would call fourth dimensional. So there's a way, now it's also being proved in science, to tap into this field and potentially see the future or multiple futures. Since time reflections require a sudden and uniform change in a medium's properties, plasma could be the natural medium where this occurs, using our consciousness. So just like they use a medium in 3D reality, they could use this plasma once they figure out how to do that. But we could do it now, using our literal consciousness. This is already what people do who are psychic. The problem is sometimes when you go to psychics, they use their perspective and it's being filtered through their own beliefs. So sometimes it ends up being wrong or they tell you that that's like your definite future and forget that there's millions of futures and they're only telling you the future based on your current choices. So what you forget and don't panic is that you can literally change your future by changing your choices in the present and every choice thereafter. So feel good about those psychic things that scare you. Nothing set in stone, nothing. We live in a fluid, frickin' alive reality of plasma. If plasma bridges dimensions, these reflections could be points of interface where consciousness and plasma exchange information. Plasma consciousness synergy is what I call it. This is also in my book. Allowing time-bound consciousness to momentarily escape linear time. 
possibly helping us literally, I say literally way too much, be able to see other realities and have different dimensions of thought. Time reflections could explain the validity of deja vu, precognition, and parallel timeline bleed throughs or glitches in the matrix. When you know someone's gonna call before they call, moments of synchronicity, dreams that are prophetic and come true. We've all had them. It's not special. This is the gift of humanity and we have forgotten about it and made it weird and mystical when it's literally just being human and having like expanded consciousness. Plasma could act as mirror, a mirror flipping consciousness across time, much like a time reflection in EM fields. Because in my theory, plasma is outside the electromagnetic field range, but it also holds so it can work either way. Memory is fluid. Consciousness can operate outside strict time constraints. This is why you can astral project. This is why you can literally think right now of a memory from when you were three. If we can go backwards, we can go forwards. We just need to strengthen that part of our mind. It makes so much sense to me. Time is not real in that dimension or it's more everything's happening at once. We just have been taught that we can only think of the past, but we can think of the future. You might call it visualization, but you should start calling it co-creating your reality. And this is why it's so important to get in touch with your heart and your soul, because you want to make sure you're co-creating your future based on your heart and your soul, not your ego. We've all done it. We've ended up in some weird places. So this experiment in the article used metamaterials to trigger time reflections, but I would be using plasma naturally. What if it is a self-regulating metamaterial? Consciousness interacting with plasma could induce these shifts, meaning conscious intention or belief could trigger a time reflection. Effects in reality, link into manifestation, synchronicity, or destiny alterations. And my chat GPT wrote this, but I programmed it too. I'm not just like listening blindly to what chat GPT says. It just helped me put it into like a linear way because I talk like Kanye West and my mind is non-linear and I make absolutely no sense. That's not true, but I wanted to put this together fast. So could advanced plasma-based technologies be engineered to enhance these effects? Yes. You can also just use your body technology and you don't have to use real technology at all. But for those of you who love technology and futurism, yes, we can also enhance it with technology. For instance, with technology, if we made some type of suit we could pin on us, we might be actually able to feel the sensations of that reality versus it just being more sensory and like in our hearts. You could feel it more temporally. I'm telling you guys, this is where the future is going. Watch this in like 20 years, okay? In plasma physics, a plasma mirror reflects light in a similar way to time reflections, as above, so below. So I'm sure it'll work in the way I'm saying, because I've literally done it, and you can too. And I talk all about this in my new book, link in bio. It'll be called A New Force, Plasma, Consciousness, and the New Human Potential. If pla my special type of plasma, which is just an expanded version of plasma, which basically means a living ether, if it behaves similarly, it can act as a holographic memory field, the Akashic realm, holding the past, present, and future, and a mirror of consciousness itself. Ever heard of the collective unconscious? That is this fourth dimensional backwards time plasma field that we could literally fish into at any moment and grab stuff out. We just have to train ourselves to think this way. Plasma, or you can call it the Akashic field, uh, well, at least in the fourth dimension, stores and inter interacts with consciousness via belief, emotion, and feedback loops. So it's important to get a hold on these three things within yourself. So basically with this article, I've hooked you in hopefully because I'm obsessed with plasma and it can literally change your life for the better. And if this doesn't resonate, move on from it. There's 20 million other ways to do this. I'm just hoping to point you to something that is really cool. The discovery of real-time reflections provides a physical proof of concept that electromagnetic waves and potentially consciousness waves can be manipulated and reflect temporally. If my plasma is the bridge between dimensions, which it is, it may already be generating natural time reflections, allowing for multidimensional interactions, memory shifting, and time perception anomalies. It basically just solidifies the proof of telepathy, psychokinesis, being psychic, blah, blah, blah. All of these theories are starting to strengthen my theories. That plasma is the fabric through which consciousness navigates nonlinear time. Memory and belief shape reality by altering the plasma consciousness interface. And that plasma mirrors or sudden shifts in plasma may allow glimpses into parallel timelines, intuition, and precognition. Thank you, William, for first coming up with this. Probably many other indigenous tribes before him. And they would call it dream time. Or everyone.
Check out my bio for more plasma stuff and my playlist.